But Holt is one of the apps out there for trading crypto. It's good if you are interested in its simplicity and for discovering emerging coins and tokens and for asset to asset trading. My name is Robert and by the time you leave this video, you'll know with absolute confidence how to use the Uphold app because I'm going to show you firsthand inside the app and how to use and access all the important features. You'll be able to understand where to find your personal portfolio, where to go to understand how the market is going and how to buy the cryptocurrencies. Towards the end of the video, I'm going to talk exactly about my strategy for buying crypto. If you are here from any of my other investing videos, welcome back. Nice to see you again and let's jump into the Uphold app. So the first thing you have to do is to create an account. You just need uh, your email and some details and that's it. It's a free uh, app. So the first thing you have to do is to create an account. This app is free, so you can join just with your email and password, I believe, and that's it. And then you want to make sure that before you start making any trades, you come here to this section that says more and you go into security. And here you're enabled to factor authentication. Just make sure this is enabled. What this does is it provides an extra level of security. They will send you an SMS every time you try to log in with a code. And so when you are logging in, you put that code and then they give you access. And so even if they steal your password, they can't log in because they don't have the code that's been sent to your cell phone. Okay. Then go back to this icon here. So this is where you can see the summary of your portfolio. The second one is for activity. It will list you all the different transactions that you've done. The third one will give you some information about the different markets and how they are performing. This one is for additional integrations and then the, the settings where you can find the security and some of the stuff. I usually spend most of my time either on the first one and the third one. Uh, I skip the others. Uh, so let's start with the first one. This is the portfolio. And so what you see here in the screen is uh, three different columns. Um, that summarize my positions as of today. So on the left-hand side, you can see a list of coins with this little star in yellow. These are the coins that I have in my portfolio. And you can see here what's the price of those coins today, okay? And so if I scroll down, I have about uh, 30 different coins and I can see very quickly how much they are trading for uh, today. This column here in the middle is about the same, but it gives you this chart that uh, summarizes quickly visually for you how your portfolio is going. So if I open this, you will see that my portfolio is 7% down in the past 24 hours. And since I started, it's down 22%. Now, obviously this will depend on the different coins you buy and when you buy them and stuff like that. And uh, as I mentioned at the end of the video, I'm gonna talk about my strategy so we can discuss why I'm not concerned, even if, it's this, if this is down 22%. So if we then uh, click here, this will give you the evolution of the portfolio in the past hours. So you can see it went from 318 to 315, the lowest, and it's going up a little bit. This is the, the last day. So the last day went down. It's about 10% in one day. So it was a good decrease yesterday. If we check one week, from 360 to 316, that's a bit more than 10%. And if we check the last month, you can see a bit more how things have been going. I made some investments here. These are the big spikes going up, but then some of these coins are going down. And then we have also one year, right? So the other thing we can do is if we scroll down here a little bit, we have the different coins in my portfolio. Uh, you can see if I click on one of them, for example, this one, you can see that I have 263 uh, XRPs and I've bought them at an average price of 50 cents each. So now the price is at 44 cents. So that's, we can see very quickly how things have uh, performed over the past few days. And then if I scroll down for each of these coins, we can see the different trades that I've made. If I go back, close this one. We can do the same for the different coins here. There is also this button here that allows me to order things in a different way. I could order them alphabetically, the balance, and there is some more information, but I like to order them uh, by the balance so I can quickly go and check what's happening with that particular coin. And then on the right-hand side, if we come here, this is the section that allows you to buy or to sell coins. 
So in this case, every coin that you buy has its own account. So I have all these accounts for the coins that I've bought. There is also a section where you can connect your payment methods. I have connected several cards. You can also connect your bank if you want, and uh, the money is deposited from your real account instead of from the credit cards or the debit cards. And then you can also do transactions with some of your friends by email if you choose so. This section here at the top, if we open this, it's like a summary of several uh, notifications. For example, this one here tells you about the refer program. So if you send the link to a friend and they join and they spend some money in crypto, then you also get some money back. This one here, if we open this, they tell you that if you make payments using uh, buying crypto, basically, then you earn a 3% back on all the Bitcoins. Actually, this is about Bitcoin that you buy, right? Um, and there is a limit into the amount of money. I guess they do this because they want Bitcoins to keep going up. So if people buy Bitcoins and invest in Bitcoins, the Bitcoins go up and you know that's how they incentivize people to get a 3% cashback type of thing. So this one here talks about how transparent the company is. Uh, it's one of the pioneers regarding transparency. And what they say is that the, the platform is always 100% reserved. This is important because some of the platforms, what they do is you make a deposit, let's say, of $1,000 and for whatever reason, you only invest 700 so you have $300 in cash in the account. Then they take the money and they lend it to other investors and to other people. And the problem is what happens if those people can't pay back, then you never see the money again, right? And so there are some other notifications that you can check if you find them relevant. If we scroll down at the bottom, there is this section called recent activity where you can see the latest transaction that I did. I bought some of these coins. And if we went into the second one, you would just see an expansion of these with more trades. So let's go into the third one, which is markets. The only thing that has changed is the column on the left-hand side, the other two are the same. But now what this allows us to do is to see the status of each of the coins they have. So you can trade 299 coins. If I open this, now what this allows us to do is to sort these coins in different ways. You can decide to see first what are the coins that are going up, or you can decide to see first the coins that are going down, or order them alphabetically or by price. So I like to see, I do different exercises. For example, if I say one year, show me all the coins that have performed the best in the past year. These are the coins, right? And as you can see, I have most of these coins in my portfolio. Some others I don't. It's a conscious decision not to have them, but I have most of the coins that have performed the best over the past year. If we go into month, you will see that I also have some coins that have performed the best over the past month. And then if we go into weeks or days, then I don't focus on those too much. What I do on a yearly basis is to make sure that I check the, the best coins of the year, I make some investment in them. And sometimes on a monthly basis, if I see one that is going up quite a lot, then I decide to buy that in advance as well. But I don't usually spend time in the hours, days or weeks. That's why I'm not too concerned about you know these coins going down now. I know the markets go up and down and my strategy is a long-term strategy for the next 10 years. So I believe that some of these coins will go up in the next 10 years and that's why I'm buying them. Even if now they are like you know 20% down. You could also check the losers. So if I check the losers for the past year, you can see here, I don't have any of those coins in my portfolio. If we check the past month, I have one of these coins, which is this one here. And if I open, if I open this, we can see that you know uh, over the past month, this is down quite a lot, like 50%, it seems probably. I don't think I have a big amount here. I may have eight or ten dollars. So even if it goes down so much, I'll probably just keep it and see if it recovers in the future. And so now, as mentioned before, I would like to talk about my strategy around crypto, right? So my strategy is around this one, XRP, which is Ripple. You can see that the average price I've paid so far is about 50 cents, but this is now down more than 10%. So I do an investment every month, $50, $100 into this coin. 
And so now the next month, what's going to happen is I'm going to buy 10% cheaper than before. I believe that the coin is going to go up again, right? I just consider these dips like a good opportunities to buy more at a cheaper price. That means that when the market goes up, I'll be making money much faster as well. And then if this explodes at some point in the future, then I'll be making even more money. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this uh, video interesting. I hope you like it. If so, please uh, like and subscribe and send me a comment. Thank you so much and talk to you soon.